Today I'm going to be answering the question Why do you hate trans women? I don't. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, it's going to be like that. Well, this won't be the first time. If you don't hate trans women, congratulations. Thanks. Let's examine a few examples of situations where trans people are dehumanized. Trans women in prostitution who face violence and risk HIV. Or maybe even, you know, assaulted or anything like that. Trans women in prostitution who are murdered and assaulted by Johns. One very recent one is the whole trans bathroom thing, right? Wrong. People don't want men in women's washrooms. Not just washrooms, female-only spaces in general. Which is great because no men would be going into the women's washroom if trans women were allowed in your washroom. Men are male, trans women are male. So how do you expect the average woman to be able to differentiate between these demographics of men? Men like Mark Lazarus, who dress in women's clothes, pounced on a 71-year-old woman as she was washing her hands, dragged her into a cubicle and tried to rape her. Christopher Todd Gard, who was arrested for aggravated assault, battery, assault with a dangerous weapon, kidnapping and indecent exposure on. Or like Jason Pomer, who was arrested for videotaping girls and women in a ladies' bathroom, Norwood Barnes. How's a woman supposed to differentiate between him and a trans woman when he walks into a woman's toilet and starts indecently exposing himself to little girls? Or like cross-dresser Eki Yatamoto was arrested with 17 counts of illegally entering buildings so he could perv on naked women in bathhouses. He dressed in women's clothes so that he could perv on women. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Because I'm a woman, you understand? Women are female. The fear there comes from a place of misinformation, I believe. Women fought hard to get sex segregated spaces written into law in the West and now they're being taken away. Who's misinformed about that? It's like they think that trans women are predators. What they know is that male people are statistically significantly more likely to be sexual predators and they also know that trans women are male. And I don't know where they're getting this. The facts about male sexual violence or perhaps the news. Like when transsexual Claire Lawson and transvestite Peter Steele raped a woman and got more than 30 years for it because it was so sadistic. Or like convicted child rapist Davina Arton. Or like trans activist and so-called women's rights activist advocate got charged with rape like Isaiah Johnson transgender person charged with luring a minor into a female bathroom and sexually assaulting him or like convicted child molester Paula Witherspoon who was ticketed for disorderly conduct in a women's restroom or Juliana Falkowski who was charged with possession of f child pornography but he has narrowly escaped a rape and abduction charges after the victim was determined unreliable. The people that I see saying these things are most often older white men. Perhaps it's because when women try to talk about this they get shut down and no platformed, especially black women like Maya Dillard Smith who was forced to leave her job after questioning HB2. Most often politicians who use this fear mongering as a way to garner votes or to gather support. What? like trans advocate Donald Trump. So if Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses? That is correct. Pow! Oh! A lot of the other people that have trouble with trans women being in washrooms are people that think your vagina is what makes you a woman. When people say humans typically have a heart, is that saying your heart is what makes you human? Uh, no, because lots of animals have hearts, just like lots of animals have vaginas. Part of what makes you a female is having a vagina. Reproductive sex is defined by internal and external sex organs, chromosomes, Zones and the hormones that are naturally produced. Because isn't that like the exact opposite of what you're trying to do? I'm assuming you're addressing feminists now. If so, no. By acknowledging reproductive sex, feminists are able to challenge the ways in which society is structured to disadvantage female people on the basis of their biology. Like in Argentina where women get convicted for murder for having miscarriages or El Salvador where women get 
convicted for the crime of having a miscarriage. In the UK, women can get arrested for having a miscarriage. Or in America, where women have miscarriages, get arrested for murder. What if this woman has a vagina, but it, she can't have children? No male has ever been pregnant or given birth. Does that mean her vagina is useless and therefore she's not a woman? Straw man. Because like trans women that have vaginas can't have children, but they have a vagina. Some trans women have their penis surgically inverted. That is not a vagina, mate. That is not a vagina. So are those women like- A woman is an adult human female. What is your problem? Men like you. Like where is the line? I'm gonna make it easy for you. No male is female, not one. You know what I mean? No. Does it have to be a perfectly functional vagina? Does the labia have to be a certain size for them to be counted as a woman? A woman is an adult human female. Does a clitoris have to be smaller than a millimeter in diameter? No. What kinds of requirements do you have? for the woman registration. Be adult, human, and female. How do I do it? You can't, you're male. Telling a woman that she can't go to the washroom in the same room that you use because her genitals aren't the same as yours. Women fought hard for these rights. It's very, very strange and it's none of your business. It is our business to defend these rights. And the fact is, trans women have never assaulted women in a washroom. Never. Really? What about Patty Hagen, who punched a woman in the face, knocking out five of her teeth when she questioned his presence in the female toilets? Five teeth. But then when it comes down to it, the people that are fighting this aren't fighting it because they're worried about women. Most of the people fighting this are women. They're fighting it simply because they want to gather support around something they know people are afraid of. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Man tells woman not to be afraid of trans women. Transplaining. Another situation in which trans women typically experience violence. What's the betting? This Muppet is not going to give us an example of actual violence that trans women face. You have this girlfriend. She's trans as fuck. She's trans. Oh yeah, I cut this bit down a bit because Steph was labouring the point a bit. And you're like, yeah, I want to introduce her to my friends. And she's down, you know, she's like, yes, I would love to, you know, meet your friends. But then one of your friends is a dick. A dick? How so? This friend of yours will not accept the fact that your girlfriend is a woman. Not violence. Regardless of any surgical status, because her chromosomes. Not violence, though. Because her chromosomes aren't, you know, what he thinks women should have. Still not violence. This whole chromosomal argument is so, so... Still not violence. I can't believe it. I really can't believe that. Because the people that are arguing about chromosomes think that they actually matter. Do you know who else thinks that they matter? Doctors, scientists, especially the scientists who discovered chromosomes and wasn't given credit because she had XX chromosomes. Chromosomes don't even define genitals. Do you understand? Transplaining. Chromosomes literally do not define anything 100% of the time. Nothing in science is absolutely certain. Like, of course they make different things happen for people. You have no idea what chromosomes do, do you? But it is not certain. You know what I mean? You clearly have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. There are many intersex people with chromosomes all over the spectrum that have genitals all over the spectrum. So now we're expected to believe there's a genital spectrum? Intersex is not trans, okay? Chromosomes literally have nothing to do with your genitals when it comes down to 100% of the time. Given that only 1 in 2,000 people are intersex, 99.95% of the time they do. You know what I mean? No. I do know you know nothing. Because because all this, all, this, all this stuff is like... Reality? You'll never be a woman because you have this chromosome. It must be so hard for you. There are plenty of other women who are not trans that have that chromosome. No. XY people who are born with a genital defect often don't find out until they reach adolescence. And in that case, they don't benefit from male socialization. Trans people are not intersex. If it's not the chromosome, it might just be because, you know, it might just be because they maybe have a more masculine feature or something they interpret as masculine. Let's say like a larger jaw. 
cool story, bro. Or broad shoulders, or maybe they have, you know, big hands or something like that. And there are also plenty of cisgender women that have these features. Trans activists come on my page and comment on my masculine jaw. Nobody else. There are also plenty of cisgender women that have PCOS who generate a lot of testosterone. Yeah, my friend has that medical condition. She's still female though. And there are some women that don't have PCOS that still have these features. So there's no reason why you should be making these features out to be trans exclusive. Here's the deal. Trans women are not women with PCOS. They're not infertile women. They are not XY intersex people. Trans women are 100% male. And therefore excluding trans women from being people. Are you now saying that men are not people? Because that's not okay. This is very hard for me to figure out because I can't believe people are this. This what? What are you doing with your hand? What are you doing with your hand? Rude. I'd rather be rude than a fucking liar. Another one that I see, not nearly as often, but I still see sometimes, is uh, girls, usually younger girls, or even middle-aged women. It's usually not my generation. I find it's teenage girls or girls, or women that are like 30 to 40 to 50. Still waiting to hear about trans women who get murdered and raped by the men who hate them. And they're always like, ugh, she does her makeup better than me, that's not fair. Are these the same girls that are pretending to think that you're a woman? I would take what these girls say with a pinch of salt if I was you. Pow. Oh! <laughs> or like, ugh, she has better boobs than me, how is that possible? And it's like... At this stage, it's fair to say. This man has no idea what it's like to be oppressed. What the fuck? Yeah, I said it. Being born designated female at birth does not make you a makeup artist. It does not make you have big breasts. It does not make you have a nice bum. Yeah, I know. Literally, it just means that you're designated female at birth. It means you likely have a vagina. That's, that's about all that means. So who's reducing women to their vaginas now? So being designated male at birth and a transgender woman does not mean that I'm automatically going to suck at doing makeup or that I'm automatically going to have a flat chest and no butt. If a trans woman does have those, like, that's fine. That's fine. If a cis woman has those qualities, that's fine. If a woman has a flat chest and no butt, that's fine. If a cis woman is also a badass makeup artist and has a nice butt and nice boobs, that's fine. So what you're saying now is that if a woman has nice breasts and a nice butt she also doesn't have flat chest and no butt so basically you're saying that women with flat chest and no butt don't have a nice butt and don't have nice breasts dick every woman being who she is is fine and now you're defining women by their boobs and breasts that's exactly what i would love to see in the world yet you can't accept who you are, which is male. I find there are these, these specific bitter people that are like openly jealous? Haters be jealous. And want to tear us down? Kind of like the men who claim to be women when they have no fucking idea what it is to be a woman. When we're good at passing. What are you doing with your hands? Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Let's support each other. I'm here for you. You be here for me. Okay? Cool. Aggressive. Another thing that I hear occasionally that kind of baffles me is like a religious reason for not liking trans people. I can tell you've read up. Because trans people aren't even in the Bible. Go look at what the Pope said. He actually blamed America for starting this problem and I can't disagree with him on that because it is America that I've started this. It's not like they're even in the Bible as a negative thing. They don't even exist in the Bible. I wonder why that is. Or likely in any other religious text. Or other historical text. So what are you doing? I think they like to interpret trans women specifically as men sleeping with men, but that ignores trans women that sleep with women. True, trans women are predominantly heterosexual males, which is why we're seeing a swarm of trans women claiming to be lesbians. Now that ignores the fact that trans women are actually women. Perhaps that's because it's not a fact. It's in fact the opposite of a fact. 
in fact. So the religious thing I don't even have to dive into because there's literally no reason for any religion anywhere to have hatred towards trans people. Perhaps that's why homosexuals in Iran are forced to undergo sex reassignment surgery so that they can escape the death penalty. There are many, 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 many more situations that I could tell you about and I could talk about, but you know, nothing's coming to my head right now. No shit. Learning is never, is never bad. I hope this has been an educational experience for you. Just remember, you are so cool, so rad, you are wonderful, you are the missing sweet role.